Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and today I got another Vegas Pro 18 tutorial for you. And today we're gonna to be going over all the big differences between Vegas Pro 17 and Vegas Pro 18. And just in case you didn't know, Vegas Pro is included in Vegas Post, which is a post-production software suite that includes Vegas Pro, Vegas FX, and Vegas Image. All the affiliate links and information will be posted in the description below, so let's go ahead and jump right into Vegas. All right, so we have Vegas Pro 18 right here. So we're gonna go over a few big differences and what really makes Vegas 18 different and better than Vegas 17. I'll also throw in a few other things that I like that I've noticed that are different as well. I like to start it off in Vegas 18, if you click and drag a selection on the timeline, they actually change this color, which is quite pleasing. It's like a royal blue. Back in Vegas 17, I'll show you, it was a kind of a duller light blue, but I definitely like this color a lot more. So on the timeline, there wasn't any changes. They didn't change anything with the preview window, but they did change stuff with the effects windows and the vector scope windows. So let's go over here the most obvious thing. We have the effects tabs, and up towards the top, they revamped the search option. If you click this and start typing anything, it's immediate. There's no delay at all when you're searching for something. This just comes up exactly what you type in is what you get. We do auto, bam, we got all that stuff. If we do levels, everything like that. It's immediate, lightning fast searching, and I love that. Next thing is they added little stars by the effects themselves to favorite them. And when you favorite them, they go into the favorites category tabs that they've added at the top here. They have category tabs separating out specific plugins and their functionality for creative, for color, for utility, for blur, for light, for 360, all your third parties, and your favorites. Super convenient. Normally, they didn't have anything related to favorites in the other versions, and I'd have to make a preset and call it something like a keyword, and then I'd have to search for that keyword, and then I'd see all the things that I commonly use. But now, I can put it all here in the favorites, and that's fantastic. So let's go ahead and talk about some new plugins that they added. I'm not going to go into details about these new plugins, because I've made detailed videos deep diving all of them. So those will be linked in the description. I'm just going to tell you which new plugins they created. The first one is Style Transfer. This one uses AI to create a crazy looking awesome video effect that kind of represents painting and whatnot. Then they have Colorization, which this one is meant to colorize black and white photos using AI driven software. And then they have Flicker Control, which is used to reduce flickering from neon lights and other types of lights that flicker because of the different hertz you're shooting in. It can also add flicker if you wanted for dramatic effects. And then they have Black Bar Fill, which this basically, if you have a vertical video in a horizontal project, then it's gonna automatically fill in the background with the zoomed in version of the video that you apply this effect to. And then they added the denoise effect, and what this does is reduce digital video noise. Next, they didn't add any new transitions, but they did add the category tabs up here as well. And same goes for the media generator. Although they did add some new title and text animations. It looks like they added about 25 or so, but if you drag and drop them in there, and see what they look like. Now over here in the vector scopes, you'll see that they have this little line right here, and that is your skin tone line. A bunch of editors have always already had this, but Vegas finally was able to add this in here. Now if you don't see this line, all you gotta do is click the little gear up here, and then go down to the options and check skin tone line. So that's really helpful if you wanna get accurate skin tones and colors. Now next, let's take a look at the menus. If we go up to file, you'll see some stuff got removed and some stuff got added. The first thing that's pretty obvious is incremental save. Now this one's designed to save new versions every time you wanna make, let's say, major changes. So let's say if you're working on a project in phases and you complete a certain phase, you can do an incremental save and it'll create a new .veg file specifically for everything you worked on all the way up to there. But then if you start another phase of your project and realize you need to make a change back in the other phase, you can open up that old save, the incremental save that it created, and you're good to go. Down here, you'll see that they removed Capture Video and Screen Capture and replaced it with just the one Vegas Capture. Next, let's go over to Tools, go down to Video, and they've added Motion Tracking right here. If you want to open up the new Motion Tracking menu, you go here, or if you wanted, you can add it to the taskbar at the bottom, like I did, and you can just click it right there. Next thing, if we go to Options and go down to Preferences, over in File I.O., they changed a couple things around. They've added Enable Legacy AVC Decoding and Enable Legacy HEVC Decoding. Checking both of these uses the old way of decoding and understanding footage. If you leave them unchecked, it's using the new way, which can be a little bit more efficient when you're editing, but I tend to see a little bit more crashes with these unchecked, so by checking them, it usually makes things better for me. 
Next is they made some changes to the color grading panel, which I'll go into details about that in its own video, but they've added a pin and unpin option and they've changed around a few options in here for contrast and exposure. Now the last big change that I like is the render progress window. If I'm gonna render something, file, render as, and then choose one of my default formats and I just say render, they created this new awesome rendering window right here that tells you a lot more information than the older rendering window. And then once you're done, you can open the folder, open it, or close this rendering window. And last but not least, in the near future, they do plan on adding this little Vegas image button, which is a screenshot button. So if you were to click this, whatever you have in your preview will be opened inside Vegas image. This is not in the initial release build, but if they do get it working, they are going to be adding it to future builds. But that is going to wrap up the big differences and the overview of Vegas 18. And there you have it. If this tutorial helped you out, be sure to shoot a like and subscribe down there because that'll really help me out. And if you want to support the channel through Patreon, you can do that as well. I have a link in the description below. So thanks again for watching, everybody, and I'll see you all in the next video. And I want to give a special shout out to all of my subscribers up there at the top. Be sure to check out their channels for some awesome content.